Hello, it's me, Marisha. Welcome to my world. Today, I decided to show you how to create this colorful parrot nail design. I really love it because I love parrots and I love nail art and it's kind of like a combination of them. So stay tuned until the end of this video, but before we start, please subscribe and click notification bell because I really appreciate it. It means a lot for me. And now let's begin. So start by prepping your nails, filing and pushing back your cuticles, removing the oil from your nails, then apply your base coat and then base color. I am using Golden Rose City Color White Polish and I applied two coats of this. I am using Winstonia Stamping Plates today, Winstonia Expressionism and Winstonia W03 or W03. I am going to be using regular scraper, so clear jelly stamper and purple, blue and yellow colors. And as long as purple and yellow don't make good color in the middle, I decided to use blue in the middle instead of yellow. You can also choose other co color combination obviously. Scrape, pick up the image and transfer onto your nail. I do not blend colors too much and I don't scrape so many times but it depends on you, it's personal preference really. And I also roll when I pick up the image and I press when I transfer onto my nail. Don't forget to clean your stamper with tape, your stamping plate and a scraper with nail polish remover or you can also use pure acetone. And then I continue this gradient stamping on all of my nails except the ring slash accent nail because I'm going to be stamping parrot on top of that nail. Alright, now it's time to stamp a cute parrot on our accent slash ring nails and I'm so excited about that because I really love how it turned out. I decided to do this parrot in cold colors, the head was purple and the wing area was blue and tail was green. And I scraped the direction I applied the polishes and I picked it up and stamped it onto my nail. Alright, now it's time to clean up. You can clean up with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or pure acetone and then go around your nail and clean it up or you can also use sticky tape because it's really easy to clean and take off the majority of polish with sticky tape. However, this time I just use brush dipped in nail polish remover. Now it's time to apply top coat. I decided to take large bead of top coat and put it on my parrot to not to smear it. And if you don't want to smear your beautiful artwork, then it's important to apply generous amount of top coat. Definitely do a floating technique, which means not to touch brush bristles onto your manicure while you are applying polish across your nail. That way our pretty parrot is going to be all crisp and nice instead of smeared. 
I added one more coat of top coat and in total I did two coats. And now I decided to introduce you someone. I want you to meet my little budgie slash parakeet, Cece. I love her so much. I cannot imagine myself without her. And she means a lot for me. I, I, I'm growing in birds and in parrots and I just, I just can't imagine my life without them. So she is really bonded with me. We spend lots of time together and it's really important to do your research before you get pet or I don't know, especially the bird. I mean, it's not like um, putting them in tiny small cage and feeding them with only seeds and all that stuff. You need to do lots of research actually you should never stop learning um, because there are lots of things that they need they need purchase toys everything by the way cc is getting her toys in purchase from aliexpress and amazon we are currently working on harness training but cc does know some tricks that she shows you actually so you can follow me on instagram and i do always post cc's videos as well as my nail art pictures so you can follow us on instagram as well as subscribe to my channel it's important to know that nail polish fumes, uh, smoke, even perfume fumes are bad for parrots. Mirrors are dangerous, avocados, garlic, onions are toxic for them, so it's important to avoid these things. Uh, and also it's important to know sick bird symptoms. So just do your research and learn more about the pet you own because these amazing stunning cute adorable creatures deserve to be happy and healthy do you like my nails you comment down below what pet you have and what is your favorite animal so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye